Hello and welcome to the State of the Nation. I'm Gwenga Ashiro. Now, going into the heart of the story, former President of Nigeria Chief Olusegun Obasanjo was the Nigerian leader who took over from the military on May 29, 1999, a day now being marked as Democracy Day. Now, Channel's television visited him at his hilltop home in Abelkuta, where he reflected on the adoption of the Chibok girls and also reacted to news-making rounds that he held meetings with some people believed to have some links with members of the Boko Haram sect. Now, the former president also commented on claims that the military has located where the Chibok girls are. Now, while the news made rounds of former president Olusha Gombasujo's decision to go find the Chibok girls, how does he react to these? Perhaps in what promises to be an exclusive account on the state of the nation? Join us in this interview as former president Olusha Gombasujo speaks. <laughs> General Olusha Ambassador, you welcome yet again on Channels Television. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ashura. So, right now we'll be going into the heart of the story, the Chibok girls. Recently, news of your going to find the missing girls greeted the headlines, and um, it's just necessary we put things in the right perspective. What actually happened? Um, let me tell the story of what happens and how it all came about and then and, and then I can dispel what did not happen and uh, which are speculation and also uh, deal with uh, uh, the, the one who did what he should not have done. Um, I, in my travelings abroad, heads of state, diplomatic leaders, business leaders, uh, political leaders, keep asking the question, what is happening? What can be done? What should be done? Are we going to just wring our hands and uh, forget about these girls? And I kept assuring them that now that the government has accepted that the girls were actually abducted and looking for help, maybe the time it's right for all people of goodwill to rally around. If you will remember, about three years ago, I took it upon myself to go to my degree. This was after Boko Haram had attacked the UN building. But this is like assuming uh, a different level of magnitude, a different dimension. Now, the man who acted as proxy to facilitate my uh, communication, and um, he reached out, uh, was then one barrister, Zana Mustafa. So at this stage, I thought, well, will Sana Mustafa still be around? Because I haven't heard from him for a long, long time. If he's around, is he available? If he's available, the machinery that he used uh, about three years ago, uh, is he still in possession of such machinery, and I have lost contact with uh, Zana Mustafa. So I asked somebody who I thought will be able to get in touch with him and know his whereabouts to try and help, and that is Shehu Sani. And when Zana came here, he came with Shehu Sani, 
And I said, well, uh, Barista, I want to know if now that I've seen you, you are alive, you are well, I want to know if you can still reach out to uh, these boys. And oh, he said, yes. I said, okay, look, I'll leave it at that. This is purely exploration. Because now that I know you are there, the next move would be for me to uh, get in touch with the uh, authorities, both at the state and uh, national level. And uh, if there is desire that we should process this beyond uh, just level of uh, exploration, I will uh, get in touch with you. The following day I traveled. Uh, my idea was that as soon as I come back, I will uh, do what needs to be done to inform authorities and find out. Because there may be other processes going on that I may not know. But, um, but when I travel, uh, two days after, I had people calling me, look, what is this? I said, look, it wasn't anything. Some people said, oh, how far has your negotiation gone? I said, which negotiation? Uh, negotiation with Boko Haram? I said, there's no negotiation. I didn't even get in touch with Boko Haram directly or indirectly in any way. But the man who uh, was uh, used as um, uh, a vehicle uh, three years ago, I wanted to touch base with him, and I did. Um, so what it's, this is not an issue that you start broadcasting and making sing song of it until, well, first of all, there is a mandate to move on. And then after that, you are seeing signs of success before you start talking about it. Because what uh, She Usani, who uh, let the cat out of the bag, had done is to try and get cheap uh, popularity or cheap uh, credit. And we shouldn't do that on the uh, uh, misfortune and the uh, sadness and uh, the, the, the harrowing situation of the parents and the guardians and the families of these uh, uh, girls. Now, and I, I will want to, in fact, apologize uh, to those, those parents because we don't start raising their hopes and doing this type of thing until they're fine. Or even the authority that uh, normally I should have consulted and find out uh, what, um, where they are and uh, what they will want to, to do um, before this. So it's important because if we will go ahead, whichever way, we will need the goodwill of a lot of Nigerians, a lot of people outside Nigeria, because it's not a job or a thing that anybody can take upon himself and do alone. And I believe that parents in Nigeria, elders in Nigeria, are of concern for this situation. And again, I want to separate the two issues, the issue of abducted girls and the issue of insurg insurgency. Uh, three years ago, what took me to my degree was the issue of insurgency. And I made recommendation. The authorities didn't think that it should go that way. Well, they have gone the way they believe they should go. So, the issue of insurgency, for me, is an issue that government can handle and deal with as they uh, deem fit. But the issue of abducted girls uh, is the issue that is now of concern to all of us in Nigeria and indeed all friends and lovers of Nigeria outside 
the borders of our country. Yeah, General, you, you talked about uh, Mr. Sheo Sani on duly letting the bag out, the cut out of the bag. Um, mm -hmm. Are you being put off from going ahead with your mission plan? And, um, no, 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 no. I, I won't. But uh, at this situation now, uh, would you consider it fit or necessary to involve the presidency in your plan to... I cannot have a plan without the presidency being involved. That's what I'm saying to you. Now, and uh, to break that out uh, as if uh, I'm going on a one a one-man mission or a mission that uh, is idiotic. So now let's come back to the issue of the Chiba girls, which um, it's obvious that you're passionate. Everybody is concerned. It has attracted a global outcry. But um, right here in Nigeria, um, it's been a controversial situation. Um, different uh, people with different standpoints. Why should the misfortune of any family in this country, why should the uh, uh, the abduction of people's daughters be controversial? Now, who is making it controversial? Now, if my grand uh, uh, daughter who is making it controversial, them, yes, who is making it controversial? I'm asking you. Why should it be controversial? Were their girls abducted or not? Now, will anybody be able to face the parents of those girls and tell them that, oh, look, we don't believe your girls were 